Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I gotta do it. Who said it was easy work? Been working so hard, but if I don't, who will niggas stick in this easy work? I put on. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one. And as y'all can see, we coming live from the Rose Garden, man. Take a look at it. Take a look at it, man. We got another beautiful day out here. So y'all already know, I got to thank the Most High for waking me up this morning and giving me another opportunity to be great. And I want to send a big shout out to my brother and my ancestors that's up there looking out for your boy. I love y'all. I love y'all, man. Look at that sky. Look at them clouds, man. You know, always clear blue that way, you know, and got the sun over here, man. But yeah, yeah, man. Just want to come holler at y'all on this first break, man. You know, and tell y'all, bro, man, stop relying so much on other people's support, man. You know what I'm saying? When you got the support of the most high and when you support yourself, that's all that matter, bro. You know what I'm saying? But uh, seeking other people for other people's support and really relying on that, listen, man, you setting yourself up to be disappointed, bro. You know, had this cat that I grew up with, you know, recently just, uh, you know, made a post on Facebook throwing a fit because, you know, um, you know, he just got into, you know, rapping a few years ago, I guess. And, you know, he had a show earlier this week and, you know, he had people tell him that they was, you know, tell him that they would buy tickets and go to the show. But a lot of people didn't, you know, so I guess now he got to pay you know some promoters back and you know he missed out on some money a money opportunity or whatnot but listen bro you know going on social media and throwing a fit that ain't it bro because now you make yourself look like you know a, a, a crybaby you know what i'm saying now you make yourself look like you know what i mean just you know weak because you put all your dependence on them you know and what people don't realize is that man you kind of get them your power when you do that you know what i'm saying you're giving your power to the non-supporters the people that sent you off and all of that and they don't care bro you know mugs don't feel no type of way about it if anything they probably think it's funny you know what i'm saying because you doing something you know with your life bro you know, you just got to realize that in anything that you're doing, bro, you know, people will smile in your face and act like it's all cool, act like they're going to support you, act like they really rock with you, but they really don't, you know, but you got to not care because when you put out that energy that you care, when you put out that energy that they hurt you, you know what I'm saying? Then guess what, bro? You know, to a certain extent, you gave them some of your power, bro, even just showing you know that you upset, showing that you feel some type of way about it, bro. It just makes you look weak, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he did hit me up about it, you know, but we talking like, you know, on a Monday, you know, I live in the suburbs about 45 minutes away from Chicago. So, you know, I knew it was gonna be a no-go for me. You know, I'm busy during the week and all of that stuff. And, you know, truthfully, I'm just trying to stay away from that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? You know, going out to anywhere where, you know, it's hip hop and it's crowds and stuff like that. That's just not where I'm at in my life. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm putting my purpose first. I'm putting my energy first. I'm putting the most high first. I'm putting my family first, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, not to knock age or anything or anything anybody doing, but... You know, you got to realize, bro, like, you know, I'm going to be 40 this year, you know, and and, and old boy going to be, you know, we're around the same age, too. So, you know, he, he kind of a late bloomer with this because, you know, just from his reaction, I used to react the same way, too. You know, I can't say that I ever went on social media and cried about it, but, you know, I did feel some type of way when I didn't get the support that I thought I was going to get from friends, family you know, women and stuff like that, 
you know, other fellow artists and stuff. That used to be me. I didn't go online and, 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 and or on social media and make posts about it. But still, inside, I felt some type of way. You know, but I had to grow from that. You know, I had to learn from that. You know, and it's really a mature thing, bro. And learning how to control your emotions. You know what I mean? And getting out of your feelings, bro, because... Once you upset and all of that stuff, then what you in? You in your feelings, bro, and you expressing it to everybody. You know, but again, bro, when you get to a certain age, man, you know, and we talking, we talking hip hop, we talking rap, you know, it's just like, man, the most high not supporting that right now, bro. Now is the time to get your spirit right, for real, for real. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with anybody that that's making music i make music of course you know i put albums out i got new projects and all of that stuff that's you know that i done recently put out stuff that's on the way i get it but do it for you bro support you you know because at the end of the day the most high supporting you if he even allowing you to do it so that's all you need bro you know you just got to make sure that your message is right you know what i'm saying and that you know, what you're doing is good for your spirit. What you're doing is good, you know, for other people. And it's not negative. You know, that's why I'm trying to turn away from that negative light and stuff like that. But it's nothing wrong with still expressing yourself and how you feel. Because it is an outlet. You know, but at the end of the day, bro, you know, I'm putting the most highest will first. You know, and I'm not putting all my trust in, 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 in men and you know, and they support, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because again, you're just gonna set yourself up for failure. And that's why most people get mad because they thought the city loved them. You know, he's talking about, I was trying to bring out the city and do this. You know how many people didn't try to do that before, bro? And let's be honest, bro. When it come to your hometown, when it come from where you at, where people know you, listen, bro, they not gonna support you, bro. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no real love there. If anything, there's more hate there. You know, it's more fake there. So, of course, people going to tell you that they going to do this and do that. And they going to rock with you. They going to be there and all of that. Listen, bro, I done been through it all. I done been through it all, bro. And it's not real. So, to expect that, you know, I knew off top. Like, see, he knew he knew, he knew to this. You know, because me personally, honestly, bro, you know, if I had a show, I honestly probably would have even went by myself. I would have did it by myself. I wouldn't even ask nobody because I ain't putting that type of pressure on people. You know what I'm saying? I seen somebody in the comments say that they that life is life and all of that. They wish they could have came, blah, blah, blah. I get it. And, you know, life really is life and for people, man. You know, people struggling right now. People going through it, man. And, you know, listen, bro, the last thing we trying to do is play around in the city. Like I said, I live in a suburb city 45 minutes away, and there's a lot going on out there. If y'all watch the news, if y'all keeping up, you know, so, you know, for real, for real. Mug ain't trying to put themselves in no type of danger. Now, I ain't saying, you know, that, you know, you being scary or nothing, but you got to be smart. You know, but if it was me and I had a show out that way, I would have did it by myself. And don't get it twisted. Just because, y'all, you know, some people are like, man, you wouldn't even went out there by yourself. Listen, bro, if I got a show and I really wanted to do this show, you know, I really wanted to get the experience. I really wanted to take advantage of the opportunity. Then I would have went by myself. But don't get it twisted. I wouldn't have been by myself, you know, and y'all know what I mean, you know. But at the same time, I would have still had the most high with me, too. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to be no goofy out here. You know, just rolling, you know, without my sword. You know, back then, they, you know what I'm saying? They had their swords on them. The Most High, you know what I mean? Made sure, you know what I'm saying? You know, when he sent them off the battle, the Most High wasn't sending Israel off the battle with no rocks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you got to have your sword too these days. For real, for real. But I probably would have went and did it by myself, man. Knocked it on out and came right back to the crib. You know, I ain't hanging out like that. I don't drink. I don't smoke. None of that. You know, but, man, at the end of the day, bro, you know, it's a learning experience, man, for some of y'all, bro, that's expecting people to support you, bro. Listen, you just got to support yourself. And if you're doing something that's 
edifying you in the spirit, edifying your mind, doing something that's bringing you peace, then by all means, bro, you don't need any outsiders. You know what I'm saying? You don't need any outsiders. That's why I don't care about views, likes, and all of that stuff. I don't care about it, bro. I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do my thing. I don't care if my album ain't, you know, selling through the roof or people ain't streaming it or the stream's low. I don't care. I'm still going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if people ain't buying my Sente clothes, my Sente hats. I don't care. It's still there if you want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just do, it don't, it don't matter, bro. It don't, it don't matter, man. Do what makes you feel good as long as it's positive. You know what I'm saying? Do what makes you feel good as long as it's creative. You know what I'm saying? It ain't negative. It ain't wicked. Do what makes you feel good because the most high letting you do it. As long as you doing his will first. You know what I'm saying? Again, you know, he tell you, the most I tell you, he going to give thee the, 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 the desires. That's a hard verse. He say, he say, delight thyself, delight thyself in the Lord. And uh, hold on, wait, let me get this right. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And he shall give thee the desires of of thine heart okay so understand that he knows what you want you know what i'm saying he know that you know you have goals and things that you want to accomplish in this life you know and as long as you doing his will guess what bro you will receive those things you know what i'm saying as long as you stand on the righteous path you're not you know you're not trying to you know hurt nobody or undercut nobody hate on nobody or anything like that and guess what bro and you keep working hard you putting in the work in the spirit you putting in the work on your purpose you putting in the work with your family you putting in the work and getting better and guess what bro like things is gonna happen for you if it's meant to be you know what i'm saying but understand bro if it ain't meant to be and the most high know that it could possibly destroy you he gonna keep you away from that bro he going to keep you away from that. And we just got to understand that and roll with it, you know. But listen, man, you know, keep doing your thing, man. If it makes you feel right, it make you feel good, man. You know, if it's putting money in your pocket, you know, it's getting you some shekels of silver. You know what I'm saying? You know, then do that, bro. But don't be relying on other people, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't put your support in them. Don't put your trust in them. That's why the most high tell us that. You know, like, hey, you know, get in the spirit, put your trust in the most high. You know what I mean? And he going to guide your steps, bruh. You know, delighteth in the Lord. Guess what? And he going to give thee the desires of thine heart. You know what I'm saying? Because he know what you want. And as long as it's righteous, he going to grant that as long as you keep stepping for him, bruh. And that's what we got to do, man. Don't step for these cats. Don't expect from these cats. Don't do none of that to have anything to do with things that's outside of you and outside of the most high, bruh. And I guarantee you're going to be all right, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is Jason. It's CM Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.